Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Siege of Torbrook. This is a very small desert town, but sorry, lag spike there. This is a very small town, but it is very heavily guarded. The Orange Guinea are sending in their KB1s that were given to the Reds. They're permitted to reach the, the what's it called, just the outline of the city because the infantry are going to have to be the ones that take this. Oh, Jesus, that bazooka just nailed that tank. <laughs> it's a KB1 though, that, it's gonna take more than that just to take it out. Holy crap. So, Tornbrook is a very important city. It's small, but it's very heavily defended. And it's a center point in the blue kind of front. So taking it is very important. Now we saw the orange guinea try to take that airport, geez brain fart there, and they did not do very well. Damn, this uh, little town is not doing very well if you uh, ask me. Maybe try to get a guy on that gun. I don't, I don't know. Can he do it? Oh, yes he can. Now, oh my god, that building is completely on fire. Now, um, because uh, these tanks are not permitted to enter the city, they don't want to lose them, but they're kind of sitting out in the open if you ask me. Um, it's going to come down to the infantry, and let me tell you, we're going to see a lot of infantry in this battle here. Oh no, the fields are lighting on fire! Oh, jeez, if they're not careful, they'll light themselves on fire. The blues are so dug in. They have trench after, tr or trench after trench. Basically trench, sand by trench after sand, sandbag trench. Oop, oh my god, there's another one of those weird glitches. Uh, if uh, they lose their color, it's okay though. Machine gun open, opening up over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, what is happening to all the goddamn guns? Oh, I don't know. It's okay, it's okay. They are not our uh, main focus here. The infantry are going to be the main focus. Now, we do have an M3 Lee in the middle of battle here. It's kind of uh, taking pot shots at that uh, KV-1 out here. Oof. Man, oh man. The Blues' goal is to basically uh, protect the headquarters, which is over here. It's armed with machine guns and it has a Flak 88 right in the center of it. It's going to be very hard because it's right in the center of this small town. But uh, we'll see how well they do. Okay, so the main battle here not going very well for the Orange Kiwi men. But I've noticed they are taking men and trying to flank around here. Their goal is to maybe take this kind of smaller little marketplace here. And if they are capable of doing that, then they have the flank of uh, the main kind of thing here. That would be easier said than done, of course. Yeah, they're, they're trying to take the flank, flank on all sides here, and it's not looking well. Yeah, they come out here, they're just immediately open fired upon by just machine guns galore. Wow. Battle 
is still raging on. And, uh, not looking well. Wait, did you hear that? Yes, we have Italian medium tanks now coming in. Um, I guess they're going to be sending these boys in instead of the KV-1s. KV-1s were just there for support. Let's see how well these uh, tanks do. So they got some pretty high opposition. Well, they already took out the M3 Lee. There goes that boy. Oh my god, and there goes the artillery. Oh my god, is this the push they needed? Oh my god. Ah, get those friggin... Get that flak back up and running. He's just pushing through! That Flak 88, I don't think it even knows what to aim at right now. kicking. It's still moving. Dude, it's still moving. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my god, that little sneaky blighter went all the way around. I was not expecting that. All the tanks here are fighting a machine gun nest, interestingly enough. Get a guy on that gun! Fire! Oh, yeah, make him run away. How's this other Flak 80 doing? It's been taken out and the color's gone. Let's uh, fix that, shall we? It's a little bit of a glitch, it happens sometimes. In big maps that require lots of uh, men. This 88 still sticking around. Oh, taken out! Let's get another guy on that gun quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Pause for a second, please. There we go. Let's change its color back to blue. It's a little bit of a glitch when you have lots of men that that does tend to happen. Damn. Oh. Oh. Is there another? There's another tank flanking around. Oh my god. Oh. Yeet! There you go. <laughs> oh no, look out. Oh, 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 oh! Shoot! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is insane. God damn it, now I gotta change the thing again. Oh my god. The headquarters is not really the headquarters anymore if you ask me. Um 
Orange soldiers still trying to move in. Um, are they still fighting the men over here? Okay. I'm falling back these men to guard the headquarters. I feel like that's just the right thing to do. Oop, leg spike, which means the last of the infantry is spawning in. Can the blues hold? I'm curious to know. I feel like I should follow him back to like here. I feel like that would be a better spot for him. Oh boy. <laughs> Yikes. They are actually flanking pretty powerful here. Uh, they're gonna run into the some blue boys ready to defend. Yep, that is the last of the orange beanie men. That machine gun. Yep, the HQ is on fire, by the way. It is on fire. Oh, this looks bleak. There's so many. Oh my god, the, 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 oh no, that machine gunner caught on fire. Oh, this is it. This is the push. Oh, hold on. There's blue men. Reinforcements? Necessary reinforcements, but is it enough? I don't think the blues have this. I actually do not think the blues have this. They're going to defend it, but like, I don't think the blues have this. They're trying to guard the headquarters that is just destroyed. Oh no, here we go again. Get away from him! Oh. <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, the blues are breaking. Oh, the blues are breaking. Falling back into houses and stuff. Oh, Jesus, those guys are just trapped. Oh. And these guys over here are just pinned. They're trying to, like, pull it off here. They've given up the headquarters. Like, the headquarters is just... Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody in there that's still alive. What a beautiful last stand. I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm not gonna joke around about this. This was a absolutely that tanks like hey, not in the, the thingy. Yeah, he's like, no, they're not in the city, and I'm allowed to stay outside. Oh, no. Blue soldiers, run away. Oh, run away. Surrender. Run away. Run away. No. Are any of them alive? I'm not alive. No, 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 no. I'm not losing you. I'm not losing you. You're going to drop your weapons. I wanted to do this. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make somebody surrender. You gotta change their thing and do everything. Oop. I don't know. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> he surrenders. He doesn't want to fight anymore. <laughs> His entire squad has been killed by a tank round, so he, he's not interested in fighting anymore. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What a battle. We have a 
Orange Guinea victory. This was a very close fight. Not going to lie. Like, those blue reinforcements came in, but they just couldn't do enough. All right. I hope you enjoyed this battle, ladies and gentlemen. I sure the hell did. Um, this battle was very intense. Very intense indeed. Um, I really thought, like, the blues had it right at the end. But then I think those tanks blowing up kind of screwed them. Because that killed, like, anywhere between 10 to, like, 20 men of reinforcing blues that they needed. And, uh, well, as you can see here... Now they have a uh, prisoner who I guess they are now escorting to um, wherever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, till um, next time, we will see, I will, I will see you later. Till then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little battle. See you soon.